Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the sprayer nozzle assembly in your dryer, be sure to unplug the power cord and shut off the cold water supply. Remove the cold water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Detach the venting. Now use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the terminal block cover and remove the cover. Unthread the screws securing the lower rear access panel. Set the panel aside. Next, open the dryer door and use an 11 16 inch wrench to unthread the nut, securing the sprayer nozzle. Detach the sprayer nozzle from the rear bulkhead. Disconnect the wire connector from the water inlet valve and use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the inlet valve mounting screw. Now lift the inlet valve mounting bracket up and slide it to the right to detach the assembly. Using a quarter inch wrench to depress the locking ring, release the old sprayer nozzle tube from the inlet valve. This will probably require some effort. Before you install the new sprayer nozzle assembly, be sure to remove the protective cap. Now fully insert the tube into the water inlet valve. Reinstall the valve by aligning the mounting bracket on the rear bulkhead, then slide it to the left until it snaps into place. Rethread the mounting screw. Reconnect the wire connector. Insert the sprayer nozzle through the hole in the bulkhead. Slide on the washer, then thread the nut and tighten. Reposition the lower rear access panel and rethread the screws to secure. The fine thread screws should be used to secure the panel to the inlet valve mounting bracket. Realign the terminal block cover and secure it with the screw. Reattach the venting. Reattach the water supply line to the inlet valve. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on, plug the power cord back in, and your dryer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.